Hey everybody, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers and it is Saturday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. So that means it's time for a video tutorial on Facebook as opposed to a video tutorial on YouTube, which we do on Thursdays. So let me just be sure that I am transmittalating off to the left here, off screen, stage left. Ah, uh, yes, it looks like I am and I've got some folks joining up. Yay! Hello, we'll start to see some comments here on certain. All right. Yay, everybody's here. Y'all who are on, did you watch SpaceX launch? Kind of a big day. It's been a minute since we sent our own folks up in our own capsules from our own place. Yeah. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Tish. Appreciate you joining. Hi, Donna. Very good foggy rainy day. Yeah, it's uh, it would be foggy here if it could, but it's too darn hot. It's hot and humid and I guess it's going to be summer or something like that. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Janie. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Karen. Appreciate you joining tonight, my friend. All of you, I do appreciate it when you spend part of your weekend with me. Okay, so let's... Uh, yay, Donna, I'm glad you watched. I watched actually from the time they went live on the SpaceX website, like at 11. So it was hard to get anything done because I was kind of glued. I was a little glued. Not gonna lie. Hey, Sharon. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Faith. Um, hey, Daryl. Appreciate you joining. Hi, Patricia. Okay, let's go ahead and get startled. So this is the card that I gave you the sneak peek of this morning. It uses the Blossoms and Bloom, actually the entire bundle, both the stamp set, which is wonderful. I love how many occasions this stamp set covers, from birthday to thank you to I just like you to I miss you to getting well to get well soon so it's a nice versatile set and of course the the blooms uh, images are beautiful and oh by the way these bloom images actually work with these large and lovely dies in the die set so this is a wonderful wonderful bundle and I think y'all are going to love it and you know coming up on the third starting on the third we've got our kickoff celebration and that means you could pick this bundle as your freebie if you joined the team that's right um, Stampin' Up! is offering your normal starter kit for $99 and you get your $125 worth of goodies for free uh, included with that and then you also can pick any bundle in the catalog that's any bundle you can go in there and search high to low and find the most expensive bundle there is and pick it and there's still no obligation still no commitment still no requirement to sell anything um, and actually if you join now you'd be let's see January, February, March, April, May, June you would be guaranteed to be active through the end of September right so it's kind of a good deal and kind of hard to beat. And so if you're interested in joining, please let me know. Um, I will be glad to answer any questions. You could also pick this if you picked my special bundle number three, I believe, called All the Pretty Flowers or All the Flowers. And it is one of the bundles in there and you will have so many flowers to play with, you won't know what to do with. So those are two options. I also used, do you remember this set? This is called Christmas Layers. And um, this is a carryover, and it is in the new catalog, so you can still play with that, right? Hey, Roz. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Mary. Appreciate you joining. Hi, Pam. From North Carolina. All right. And then, finally, I used the Ornate Floral 3D um, embossing folder. So, let's go ahead and start. Now, I'm changing up my card for the video just a little bit. On this card, I have used the 2022, uh, 2020 to 2022. That is not as easy to say as you think it is. I've used that six by six DSP for my flowers, and I've decided to just change it up just a little bit. Still the same card, but my flowers are now using some of this pretty Rococo rose and petal pink paper from the In Good Taste stamp set or DSP, remember that? It's the one with all of the, the textures and the tile and the wood grains um, and the tweeds. And this looks like a low pile Berber rug in pink. I don't know why anybody would have that in actual rug, but whatever, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Hi Pam, hey Julie, appreciate you joining. Hi Jean. So that's what we're gonna make our flowers out of. And I have done a little bit of pre-cutting. Aren't you so glad? So let me pull over my handy uh, ramekin filled with die cuts. 
The first thing I've cut here is, um, this is one of the Christmas bow dies. It's actually this one right here. And I've cut it from just jade. And then I cut a bunch of the smaller flowers. I didn't use the big ginormous uh, dies on this one from many layered blossoms. I used these, which are the outline dies, right? And I've used these, which are the more solid ones. And I've cut five total, three little ones and two big ones out of silver and misty moonlight, okay? So let's go ahead and make us some flowers, shall we? And now all of this will be on the blog tomorrow. So you can just watch and, you know, murmur amongst yourselves and listen to my yakin, and you'll have all the information you need tomorrow. Okay, the first thing I did is I glued all of these silver die cuts to my DSP. And we're going to do a little fussy cutting, but don't worry, it is easy fussy cutting. It's not even very fussy. It's like non-fussy fussy cutting. Because really all we're doing is cutting off the excess around the edges. We don't really care if it's exact. It can go inside the edges. And I will show you what I mean in just a second. I suppose if I was really well prepared and there hadn't been a SpaceX launch today, um, I might have had these all, good lord, all glued down. But my, my glue is getting all... Aww. <laughs> yes. I'm glad you quit mowing just to watch me and I'm also glad that you were able to watch the launch because you know it's kind of a big deal don't you remember when that that all started everybody was all the major channels covered it and it was a big deal and everybody watched it was like it's like how airline flying used to be where everybody kind of got dressed up and it was kind of an event not anymore by the time the shuttle program was defunctified. Um, nobody really seemed to care anymore, which I thought was sad. Because I don't know about you, but every time I watched the shuttle land, wherever it landed, I always got a little teary. It just kind of teared me up a little bit. That was such a feat. And if you've ever seen the shuttle in real life, it looks really, really big on the TV, but it isn't. I mean, it's bigger than, than SpaceX and the dragon and all of those guys but um no it wasn't very big and it wasn't very you know it didn't it sir it looked kind of like the starship enterprise or <laughs> uh, in the early seasons not the new ones not the movies no it looked like the ones where you had <laughs> the blinking lights and they really didn't do much it was not very high tech on the inside looking because it was pretty low tech, if you think about when we built that. We weren't real, uh, you know, we didn't really know. We didn't have a whole lot. It goes kind of back to that whole um, big doohickey, you know, when we went to the moon with less computing power than we have in our smartwatches today. So, you know, we're kind of, I'm glad we're back. We, we've lost a lot of ground in this last 10 years, I think. And uh, I'm glad we're, thinking about catching up a little bit. I do think it's time to boldly go. I do, I do. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna trim the edges and I'm gonna show you why this is not a big deal. I'm gonna hold this up so you can kind of see. I'm even going underneath that silver die cut. I don't really care what the back looks like. All I care is that I get that extra DSP off and that I don't go so far into the silver die cut that you can see a gap. Okay, so it's pretty easy stuff. This is like Amy level fussy cutting right here. She could do this easy. She probably wouldn't. See, I didn't even turn that corner. I just cut the corner. You ever drive in the mountains and you use, uh, you know, kind of, ah, cool, Jennifer, that's neat. They first put the Apollo mission, they knew about 25% of what, oh God, I'm certain of that, Sue. I mean, they just totally, let, you want to talk about some serious cojones. So there you are, you're standing at the base of the Saturn, let's say, and you look up there and you think, I'm going to strap myself to that rocket built by people who have no idea what they're doing, 
I mean, they had a little idea, but they didn't really. The, the list of unknowns was way, way bigger than the list of knowns, very much like today. I mean, I realize that was the first time in for, I just don't even know how long, that a, a crew was sent up in, for the first time in a new vehicle, right? I mean, it had flown before as cargo dragon, but it had never flown as crew dragon with human beings. So it was a pretty momentous occasion. Uh, but yeah, I mean, talk about brave. I, I, I mean, seriously. <laughs> and especially if you think about the number of times they stood there and watched them blow up before they finally figured out the issues. Um, so very, very, that's probably why I'm not an astronaut. I have to admit, I was a little struck today by, oh, you know, some regret. Things I wish I had done different. They were all naval, well, they all were then, yes, absolutely. That was the requirement. You had to be a test pilot. And uh, the Air Force test pilot that they wanted was busy poo-pooing it and calling them monkeys in a can, which, you know, actually worked out okay for him. He did okay in his career, but he was never an astronaut, and I think he kind of probably regretted that because it turned out to be a way bigger deal than spam in a can. I speak, of course, of Mr. Chuck Yeager, General Chuck Yeager, sir. General Chuck Yeager, sir. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do the last one, and that will be the extent of our fussy cutting. See how easy, are you seeing what I'm doing, or are you busy listening to my incredibly riveting chatter? I'm really not making sure that the edges of my DSP fully match up with the edges of the silver die cut. I'm just getting it off. So I'm really going inside, and I'm going to show you the backs, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. In case that detailed definite description was not enough. All right. I love their ride to the la to the launch pad. <laughs> the Tesla SUV, a little different than in the '80s, right? Okay. So let's get rid of some of that. Out the way, out the way, mess. See how what a neat and tidy crafter I am? No. I watched whether you ever wanted to be. You know, I, I, I didn't so much want to be an astronaut, although I did toy with switching to um, astronautical engineering midway through my engineering schooling, but I didn't do it. And even if I had, I still would have been on my way into the Air Force and I would have been a pilot and not really when I came in test pilots school for women wasn't really a thing and astronauts still had to be test pilots so by the time women were included in that group it was late for me like as in too late and also I'm a big fat sissy lala <laughs> so I don't think that would work okay now look here can you see that can you see how the, this is the DSP edge right here? Wait, let me get my handy tweezers. This is the DSP edge right here, and here's the silver. So really all I have done, I've really cut the corners. So all I've done is get rid of the DSP edge. So pretty darn easy. Should have used the punch. Now, which punch is that, Vicky? that would fit this? I don't know. I don't think there is a punch that would punch this out. All right, so now, if you'll notice, I have three of the small of the small ones. These are small ones, and this is a two of the larger ones. And I have also cut the corresponding outline flowers from Misty Moonlight. My favorite new blue. My favorite new blue. And we're going to adhere those to those little flowers I've just made. And they do line up, so we're going to make sure to line them up, okay? Facebook did another awesome update to their app, and I've been trying to get the sound to work for 10. Yeah, I had to reboot my computer today because my when I tried to watch the space launch, there was no sound. 
and everything was working, all the troubleshooting was right, you know, all the sound was on for a computer speaker, so I had to reboot. And of course, my computer decided that that would be the perfect time to do a 17 minute update, so I was pretty impatient. Very patiently impatient, as you might imagine, because that's how I roll. Okay, so I'm just, uh, I'm putting glue just on these middle pieces, the little middles right in here. Right in here, not very much. Okay, and then I'm lining it up because there is a right way to hook these up for them to all match up with each other. I had a hanging chad there. Get off of there, hanging chad. Hanging chad, hanging chad. Hang on a minute. I gotta get that because it'll bug me no end. It will bug me and bug me into the middle of next week. Okay, there we go. So I'm just adhering those on like so. Okay. And we'll do all five of them the exactly same way. Uh, yeah, a sissy la la wussy face. That was a term that I've learned back in girls at Girl Scout camp. Apparently, that's a thing. If you're a sissy la la wussy face, that is not a good thing. But that's what I was. At, well, let's just face it. Still really am. Still really am a sissy la la wussy face. Okay, almost done. Amy, you're lucky you, you joined too late to really see me do any fussy cutting, so you won't have been traumatized too much, I don't think. Let me see where, oh, there we go. It's pretty easy to line these up. It's kind of obvious where everything fits, really. Isn't that pretty, the blue and the pink and the silver together? I love it. I just love it. I really, really love it. Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, okay then. There you have it. Sissy la la wussy face. That's worse than a sissy la la. It's, it's like orders of magnitude worse than sissy la la. It's sissy la la wussy face. Okay. So I have a piece of Whisper White. And what I'm doing first is I'm just going to lay my Christmas bow out. And I'm going to put my flowers. And I did small flower, large flower, small flower, large flower to help it all. Uh, wait, obviously I didn't do that right because I've got too many large flowers left. Here's a large flower. Okay. And I'm only doing this now because I want to stamp my sentiment before I emboss this panel in the ornate floral embossing folder. Because it's really, really, oh my gosh. I need to stop talking for a minute. Hang on. <laughs> this is just not that hard, Mary. Come on. All right. One little flower, one big flower. One little flower, one big flower. And one little flower. Okay, there we go. Gosh. Talk about making a mountain out of a molehill. All right. Now, I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday which is in Blossoms and Bloom, right there. And I'm going to stamp it in Misty Moonlight, and I am able to do that because of my May Paper Pumpkin. And I have my little Stampin' Ink Pad dot thingy, who's it? And I'm gonna ink this up really good. Really good, like that. Okay, here we go. And then I'm just going to lay it out so that it kind of matches. And let me go ahead and pull this to me, guys. I'm sorry if you can't see it really good, but I kind of want it to be as straight as I can get it. I'm going to hold it a beat like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to drop that off. And I'm going to emboss it in my embossing folder. And I'm going to do that off screen. I don't see any reason to bore you with that. Okay. Writing is up. That means this will be the embossed side. I'll be right back. Actually, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just like turning around. I'm going right here to my cutting machine. Are you guys so excited for the new catalog next week? I cannot wait until you can order from it because it is very large amounts of awesomeness. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't wait until I can order from it all of the things. 
All right, now in this uh, sample, I used uh, Magenta Madness as my, uh, what is that called? Uh, the mat, and that's because it matched the DSP. And this one with my DSP being um, Petal Pink and Rococo Rose, I opted to use a Petal Pink mat. Yes, it is more important that I be able to see than you in this particular instance. Yes, that goes against everything I've ever learned as a teacher, but in this case it was true. Otherwise, happy birthday was going to be sliding uphill or downhill. Uphill or downhill. One of the tother. All right, so we're going to just mat this on a petal pink mat with some liquid glue. And then we're going to use our liquid glue again and adhere this Christmas layers bow that I cut out of Just Jade. I love Just Jade, not even gonna lie, I love Just Jade. And Just Jade and Shaded Spruce, I actually considered using the uh, uh, the Forever Fern, Forever Greenery DSP, and then I thought, green flowers? That doesn't even make sense, Mary. So let's go ahead and put this back on with our liquid glue. Kind of just center it back there like so. Sit and think about what you've done. Okay. Got your wish list already, Mary? That is good, because... Yeah, it's going to be big, going to be huge. Okay, now I will put a half a dimensional on the back of each of my flowers. I feel so righteous when I use a half a dimensional. I don't know why. Also, actually, what I actually feel is able to use however many of them I want because there's, you know, half. It's half. It's really just half. All right, there's a small, there's a large, small. And you know, if I screwed this up, it really probably would not matter. But I like how they fit in, the, in proximity to each other here by alternating the sizes. Okay, so that looks good to me. I like, I like how they're going up and down-ish. So now I'll just pull the back off. <laughs> hey, Pam. <bam. laughs> I hear you. It's hard. It is hard. I am always grateful for my discount. Always grateful for my discount. And, you know, if any of you out there want a discount, I bet I know somebody who can hook you up. Uh, just in case that wasn't clear, that would be me. Case I wasn't clear. All right, and we're gonna do that like that, and then I'm going to. Now, one of the new ribbon packs is the uh, flowering flowers for every season ribbon pack, and you get all three of these. This is a Missy Moonlight and Silver uh, Baker's Twine. And then you've got a Just Jade Gingham and a Whisper White. Um, and this is a real nice, this is very nice ribbon. It's very soft and I think it'll make nice bows. But I'm just using this Misty Moonlight Baker's Twine. And I'm going to tie me a bow of the simple variety, i.e. not a double loop bow, just a bow, plain old bow, your basic old bow. Just a bow. It's nothing but a bow, sir. Just the bow, ma'am, nothing but a bow. I was attempting to channel Dragnet, but maybe, maybe you didn't catch that really funny joke. Really funny joke right there. Okay. All right. Now, exactly. You're saving, you're spending money to save money. That's a thing. That is a really legitimate thing. And I can assure you our husbands would understand it if it was like, you know, a chainsaw on sale. 
Okay, now I'm taking a glue dot and I'm sticking it right there. I should have, in fact, let me see if I can pry that little booger right up because I should have put this on first. Give that a little wiggle and pick that up. I should have put my bow on first, but I didn't, so now I'm fixing it. Got too busy yakking. Yakking is a problem. There we go. I'm just sticking that right in there like that, and then I'm going to take off that little piece that I tore, make sure I've still got sticky, yep, and we'll put him back, like so. Okay, there, I like that. Now, I used um, in the in-color enamel dots on my sample, but I'm going to use my champagne rhinestones on this one, because I think they go really good with this DSP, don't you? Yes. Little sparkle never hurt anybody. Get in the middle where you belong. Get in the middle where you belong. Thank you. You guys, I know you're excited and I know that Amy is gonna be particularly excited to hear this. I have baby spaghetti squash, two of them, and more blossoms. I am very excited, and Wayne is thrilled. Wayne loves spaghetti squash more than almost any other thing except bok choy. No, totally not even true. Okay, so there we go. There's our card front. So he is a very excited. He is almost as excited as I am, because you know what? Spaghetti squash is one of those ones that's expensive. My yellow squash that is going great guns, I can get that pretty cheap, but not spaghetti squash. Okay, on the inside, I'm going to use the two small flowers in the um, Blossoms in Bloom, and I've just put them both on my, uh, you know, doohickey here, the acrylic block. And I'm going to pull in my deluxe foam mat for my Stamparatus so that I have a nice little spot. And I think what I'm gonna do, I know, congratulations on my babies, I know, they're so sweet. I've had a lot of yellow squash already. And what I'm gonna do is on the sample, I did Misty Moonlight and Melon Mambo. Can you see the difference? I know that some people are thinking that Melon Mambo and Magenta Madness are really kind of the same, but I'm gonna tell you they're really not. But they're close, okay? But they're definitely not the same. Okay, anywho, what I'm doing on this one is I'm going to use um, actually, I think I'm going to use Rococo Rose for the large flowers. And I'm going to then put my middles. My middles are going to be petal pink. Let me just make sure this is going to stamp nicely. Oh, yes, it is. And I'm just going to put them in this corner. And I'm going to put them in this corner. And I'm going to move that aside and I'm going to pull out my, you do like some, just not the icky ones. What is an icky squash? Okay, I don't like, it's true. I don't like like acorn squash and stuff. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm just doing the same on my Whisper White Medium Envelope. Now I'm gonna put my Rococo Rose away so that I don't screw up. <laughs> I know, you're saying to yourself, Mary, you've never screwed up ever. <laughs> right. Okay. And then I'm going to put some little middles. Let me wipe off my block before I have an inking accident. I'm going to use a little middle in petal pink. And these don't look like particularly real flowers, and that's okay. They're just kind of stylistic flowers, right? They're just pretty. They're just pretty. Okay, we'll close this up. And then I see that I've gotten a little bit busy with something there. So let's, uh, oh, here's my, good one. I'll just do a little erasing there. I think that's maybe ink. Nope, that's, what I meant to say is I think that's maybe glue, but it is not. It appears to be ink. Well, I'll have to get that later. Okay, no biggie, no biggie. I don't think that is a big it at all. Let's go ahead and put this on my mat. Ooh, I, see, I don't like butter and brown sugar on acorn squash. Mm -mm. 
I do, however, I've discovered I really do like butter and brown sugar and some cinnamon on sweet potatoes. And it turns out you can have a nice little treat for not too many calories with a sweet potato and a couple of teaspoons of brown sugar and some smart balance and some cinnamon. And then you got you a you got you a little snack. I'm just saying. Just throwing it out there. Alright, and then we're gonna put this in our misty moonlight. Do you guys like this blue and pink combination? I do. I think it's pretty. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. All right. And then I'm going to put my uh, card front on with some dimensionales. It helps if you say it like that. Your dimensionales. I don't know why. I would like to apologize to the world for whatever you saw on the news from Atlanta last night. It was not a very classy display. I am embarrassed for us and I am danged impressed with the patience of the police officers involved. That was crazy. I'm pretty certain that I might have accidentally had the fire truck hoses. Whoopsie! Oh, did I knock you over with that hose of water? Whoopsie! That wouldn't have been good. And I was also pretty impressed with our mayor. I was, I, she's not my favorite person, but I thought she handled last night very well. All right, so there's that. And I'm going to, because I can, and because I love them a lot. I love them a lot, a lot, a way lot. Now, dang it, there it is. I'm gonna put uh, one of these little rhinestone doohickeys, the champagne ones in the middle of my little flowers on the inside. Don't be afraid to put rhinestones on the inside. Who said you can't? There's no rule. Nobody said you can't put a embellishment on the inside of your card. Knock yourself out, it's your card. Conversely, if you don't like them in there, don't. But I do, so I am, so there, there we go. Alrighty, now I'll put some of my DSP. Go home. Exactly, Sue. I loved it. What I liked about her is she was obviously furious. Obviously furious. But she stayed completely um, coherent. And she was eloquent. And she was straight up and did what so many politicians won't. Is just say exactly what needed to be said. Not worrying about whether she was going to get elected next week or next term. It, she just said what needed to be said, and I liked it a lot. And anybody who thinks what happened to that man in Minneapolis was okay is just not paying attention. It was absolutely, totally, and completely wrong. Absolutely and totally, completely wrong. But destroying Atlanta is not going to fix it. It just isn't. Um, I liked what Dr. King said. She was spot on. Um, not the way to get it done. In fact, one of the people even said, and I'm not sure, I don't remember who it was, they've actually ruined their credibility. They've lost all of their street cred. It wasn't about protesting that gentleman's death. It was about looting and robbing and burning and beating up on cops. So there you go. Right. So, two different cards, identical layout, identical design, identical stamp set and bundle, but I think they look very enough different to be different, don't you? And I kid, couldn't even tell you which one I like better, although I actually kind of like this one better because Magenta Madness, I love it. It's a beautiful color, but it's a little bit bold for me. So, I prefer the petal pink one. You guys, uh, I do appreciate you. Yes, they had a, yep. Oh, in Charlotte, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all over the country and they're, they've are they missed the point. I think the point was to loot and rob and steal and generally make nuisances of themselves. Become hooligans, as one of the men said last night at the presser. All right, guys, I appreciate you joining me and I appreciate you listening to my political ranting, which is not really the point of this at all. 
and I hope that I will get to see you next week on Thursday at 1 on my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. So excited for you to get the new catalog and to be able to order from it on Wednesday. Have fun. Until I see you again, thanks. Bye-bye.